Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your February 2024 general monthly reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Thank you guys. I am sending you so much love to all of you who have booked personal readings, who came to see me at the last Mystic Market. To my returning viewers and subscribers and all my newbies, welcome. I love and appreciate each and every one of you to book a personal reading. The link is in the description box down below. I only have a few uh, appointments left this month, um, but thank you guys for keeping me busy. I've been a little bit under the weather, so this month's reading is going to be a little bit shorter than usual. And so... Um, I will be also doing a mid-month bonus love reading. So stay tuned for that. Look at all those major arcanas. Holy cow. <laughs> Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. February 2024. You've got the Strength card, the Tower, the High Priestess, and the World card. Uh, those are your major arcanas this month. I mean, I feel like they all tell a different story. Um, when I look at this, because your supporting cards are the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, right? So uh, you've had to go through some difficult situations where you've really had to pull through in terms of feeling like you didn't even know where you were pulling the strength from, right? Right. Especially when it came to working on yourself, healing yourself, or just maybe you've got a job that stresses you the F out, right? Eight of Pentacles is definitely feeling like you are working on yourself, though. This is, you know, spiritual growth, emotional growth. This is healing. This is uh, really trying to bring back hope, healing, and happiness in your household. Um, and now, it also gives me the vibe of... Uh, trying to be as strong as possible to handle certain things in the workplace. Eight of Pentacles does speak of, you know, things in the workplace, but also putting in the work, you know, burning the midnight oil, staying up late, trying to work on yourself. I do feel like in terms of your home and your work, things are taking a huge change, like drastic. You could be, um, you could experience, be experiencing like some massive changes and shifts in your workplace or in your home, but the Ten of Cups with the Tower card, it's like you're about to feel like a sense of relief and release. If it has taken everything that is within you to leave a specific situation behind, work or business, I mean work or home, right? It just feels like that is exactly, exactly what you needed to do to feel like the Ten of Cups energy, that emotional fulfillment, that happily ever after, that growth, that feeling, that sense of wonder and um, feeling like I, I deserve this. I deserve this happiness. I deserve to, you know, whatever it is, fill in the blank, right? And I feel like, okay, I'm hearing it like this, like you're just not taking shit from anyone anymore. And um, you know, the tower card is definite upheaval, whether this is in your environment or, you know, like at home or at work. So what happens when it's at work? Well, heads will roll, right? A lot of things are happening or going on behind the scenes. And I feel like if you know things aren't right, if you know that it's taking a toll on you, and I feel like things are about to change in a massive, massive way, especially within the home life, it's just going to bring a sense of peace and tranquility as you rebuild yourself, rebuild your life moving forward. The high priestess, spiritual growth, trust your intuition, trust Trust the signs from the heavens, from the universe, your spirit guides, guardian angels. I do feel like they are guiding you. They are definitely giving you hints of what's to come. So you could be experiencing very prophetic dreams, uh, having certain downloads, or even just point blank being the very quiet person in the workplace and just already knowing what's going to happen and watching it happen before your eyes. Like, like it's exciting and it's creepy and it's eerie at the same time, but it's like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to step. I'm here. I'm not going to step on their path because I'm going to let their road crumble be, be, you know, underneath them. 
the world card, another major arcana. So you've got major, major changes this month for you. The world card is about closing cycles, endings, bring about new beginnings. And so this is very much feeling like it's elevating you to a whole new level. So you could be seeing an increase in your finances. Uh, you could be seeing, a, you know, just an overall sense of happiness and emotional and mental well-being, healing, uh, feeling like you're finally feeling more at ease, at peace, feeling grounded, especially if you've gone through some really stressful times, um, whether that's at home, in your family, or in the workplace. But the world card is, it's, it's definitely taking your world, your chapter, your life to the next level. Levels that even at one point or another, you didn't think possible. Let's see, the two of wands. Yeah, see, two of wands, four of wands, queen of swords. So being at a crossroad, choosing the life that you want for yourself and not being afraid to vocalize when you need to vocalize when you need to speak up when you need to draw the line in the sand and set boundaries if people have been overstepping their boundaries or over over welcoming a stay is what I heard okay so tell me about this tower card I know the tower can be scary for some but all these other cards that are um, you know, majors and supporting are so much better that it just really is this feeling of necessary shakedown movement, um, things really falling apart so that everything that should be falling into place falls into place correctly. Absolutely, freaking lutely three of cups. That is joy. That is union. That is celebrations. That is wish fulfillment that is so much to be celebrating and I feel like there is this is a celebration of life at this point in your life and I feel like you never thought that this was possible I get this feeling that you've had a lot of uh pain in your life and some very hard lessons that you have had to uh, learn from and deal with and you know you've suffered some losses here that have really just felt like um the rug was pulled from beneath you. But I feel like you you are definitely on this path to healing. You've tapped into strength within you that you never thought possible. You're dedicating yourself to being a better person, a better partner, a better employee, a better parent, whatever it may be. And it's just, it's this sense of tranquility and ease that I feel like it's been a long time coming for you. The devil card here with the page of wands careful of offers with strings attached okay six of cups king of wands aries leo sagittarius capricorn energy here but i'm seeing that very clearly careful of offers being made negotiations if it smells fishy, it is. If something doesn't feel right, trust your intuition. The High Priestess card is here reminding you to trust your intuition. So if somebody makes you an offer here, I'm hearing for some, it's like a lowball offer to buy you, buy your home or buy you out. Uh, for some of you, it could be like, oh, I know you've been taking on more at work, so um, we're going to offer you a little bit more pay or a bonus or an increase. And you're just like, that that's what you're going to offer me? Like, no, I'm just not going to do it. And that's it. Find somebody else to do it. Be careful of, um, you know, dealings with people that can be controlling and manipulative and that have only their interest in mind. It, it feels like this is someone who's offering you maybe a new opportunity in the workplace to set you up to fail or to be like micromanaged and be under a microscope and waiting for you to like just really mess up. So keep that in mind. I definitely feel like at one point you may even have a lawsuit against your employer is how I'm hearing it. But this is also someone who really sugarcoats it and like, it feels like something that's like a completely shitty offer, but they make it seem like it's the best offer in the world and completely playing it up. And you're just like, I'm not falling for that shit. Who do you think I am? 
Do you think I'm naive? I'm some child? Do you think I'm, I'm not going to know what, what's behind this? No, I want real results. I want real money. I want real whatever it may be. Fill in the blank, whatever it is that you're asking for. What is the advice when it comes to this offer? Yeah, I don't trust that offer one bit. Yeah. If you feel like you don't have a choice in this offer... I would be very careful. I would take notes. I would, again, be very careful. Things will die down and things will move slowly towards the path that you desire. However, you're going to be the one that needs to make this change. So some of you, you're just going to have to leave your place of employment. Um, too many cards came up, but I will show them to you. The death card, the page of pentacles, queen of wands. So... The death card, new beginnings, death, rebirth, ending of a cycle, page of pentacles. It can be an offer, a financial offer, a, you know, maybe negotiating an offer that comes through. And this is you knowing your freaking worth saying, no way, Jose. That's how I heard it. Uh-uh. I even feel like they're like you respond in laughter. Like, what do you, what you think I'm, I'm stupid or something like Get out of town, clown, with that offer. I just feel like you're like, no, thanks, but no thanks, right? The Hierophant came through as well. It flipped out as I had picked up the deck. So the Hierophant, uh, you know, could be big business, could be marriage, could be partnership. Uh, but definitely when in regards to this offer, I do feel like it is in your best interest to reduce your workload and... Um, if you won't be fully compensated for everything that you do, then just do your job and what you're paid to do, right? And um, I know easier said than done for some people in their workplaces, but that Six of Swords is saying you really need to bring a sense of peace and ease and move towards calmer shores at this moment in your life because things can get really stressful beyond what you're already experiencing. See? Beyond what you're already experiencing, I do feel like you're already having these worrisome sleepless nights and you're just trying to figure out what's my next step, what's what path should I take. Um, you're definitely weighing out your options here moving forward. Um, let me grab a different deck here. Let's see what the Kipper has for you. Tell me about this devil page of wands offer mm. the card of poverty okay so when i see the card of poverty here it's like card number 37 is 10 so th again this is an end of a cycle however this could be the ending of a job that's really stressing you out you know if you are kind of given an offer for like an early retirement or how about we do this or how about you know we let you go but we have this type of severance package or you know it just mm, I don't like it there's like something negative attached to it like they have really bad intentions here behind it um now if this is someone who is asking you for money like this is someone who is like money drain is what I'm hearing. I'm telling you, you definitely need to change. You need to leave your place of employment. Try to, you know, come to a happy medium if you have no options but to stay because of, I don't know, years of service or seniority and you're just like, oh, I can't just start all over again. At the end of the day, know that by staying what you are sacrificing. I think you already know that. However, sometimes we forget because we think we have no other options, right? But this is a time of change that's coming for you, especially because you have the tower and the world card here. Know that whatever uncomfortable change comes through for you in this moment in time, you are strong enough to handle, to supersede, and to continue on your journey. Again, I do feel that if you feel like you're unfairly let go or that this feels a little bit like grimy, like a little bit of a setup, like they purposely set you up for failure so that they can um, let you go or something like that. I do feel like some of you will be seeking, um, you know, legal advice and um, perhaps suing your employer is what I'm hearing. 
Okay, Wisdom of the Oracle to close out this reading. You have a deep knowing. Remember what I said. Trust your intuition. That card of deep knowing, you know, connecting with your higher self, knowing yourself inside and out, knowing the signs from the universe, your spirit guides, guardian angels, they are definitely guiding you to a specific path. And I also feel that they are warning you of certain situations that will be coming across your way or that have already come across your way. That devil with the page of wands that comes through, I just feel like you can already sense this coming. You may have already figured that that would be happening, whatever this offer is. Um, but don't let them cut you short. You have the owl here on the deep knowing card. Do some meditation be focused on a specific situation that you want clarity on and ask your spirit guides, guardian angels to bring forth the clarity that you need. Trust that your, your higher self, your spirit guides, guardian angels will help guide you towards your best possible outcome or at minimum to show you, to bring the clarity of what you can't see on the surface at this time. Thank you guys so much. Once again, Sagittarius, I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Sending you guys so much love and support. Your bonus mid-month is coming up next. So make sure you guys subscribe with your notifications turned on. Give this a thumbs up. Like, share, comment. And your playlist is up here. Whatever the reading I have for you is here. And if you're not following me over on Instagram, I do post additional content there. And I let you guys know when I have openings. And if I'm going to be anywhere in person over at Virgo Angel Tarot at Instagram. Sending you guys so much love. Take care. Bye.